And maybe we'll wait until the Ludic, the until after the attack for the Ludic uh, path uh, base to go over to. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This was Shushin, and I got no feeling for it. Yeah, I definitely understand that, man. I definitely understand that. Um, I'm gonna just you're chill. I'm not gonna attack the smugglers. Except the comms request. Wait, what? Thanks, Commander. My contract time is up. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing about the ghost spend all the credits every little chance to get the coops in the ship middle of nowhere. Eh? Um, it takes it takes a story point every time. Hmm. That sucks. I didn't know. I didn't know you had to spend a story point every time you wanted to re-recruit them. I thought you would just pay. I thought you would just uh, pay them or whatever. That's Sag. All right, whatever, whatever. My my recruit is gone. That's we'll live with it. We'll live with it. And how are we doing in terms of transplutonics? Not much. Not much. We're getting there. We're getting there. We have enough metal. I don't even know why I'm putting the metal away. We need more transplutonics, but we could buy them. There's it's just a lot of money if we buy them. But I'll, I'll do that actually. We'll slowly, slowly get it done that way. Storage. Take the fuel and supplies. Some stockpiles here. We don't need many because we're just coming back, like right back home, like immediately. But yeah, it's better than nothing. Um, storage. Put these two away. I might put this away for now. Maybe I can put like the Paragon away and then fly that thing. But you know what? Let's put the this thing away, and fly fly this thing. Let's let's actually fly it. That's fine with me. Um, I'm still gonna repair it first, but let's put it away. What does it cost to repair? I can just make a new one for way cheaper. But it has S mods built in it. We'll repair it. We'll repair it. And again, these I could probably just buy ones for cheaper, but I'm being lazy. I don't want to go, like, punt them down or whatever. And this thing costs a lot to repair each time, but I always do it. It's worth it. It's it's it's, it's a good ship. It's earned, it's earned its repairs. And you know, maybe, actually, because I like the, the, the Falcon a lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and build in on it. We, we don't have many story points right now. Oh, what? Integrated point defense AI. Why do I have that? Wait, is this supposed to be ITU this whole time? I think that was supposed to meant to be ITU. I, I don't. I, there's no reason to have integrated point defense on this thing. It doesn't have any point defense. Um, that that's definitely a problem. But I could build in these. ECCM is not the greatest thing to build in here. I don't know. Um, how many points do we have right now? Not not many. I think that's why we chose these because we didn't have many points. We can put the Atroposes on there. They don't have many, many missiles in them, but if we're going for double limited missile racks or like small amount of missiles, we could we could build these in and then put a uh, expanded racks on it. How much does that cost? 20. Yeah, I'll build in both. Let's build in both. An ECCM on this ship might seem weird because it's not that missile-y, but I don't know. I'm okay with it. Then let's go uh, racks. And then we can crank this up all the way and then put five here. So it's much better now. I think the ship should be a lot better. The question is, by the way, gaming, I just noticed a new PO League. Want to try it? I haven't played for like three years. I really want to. We all respect yogurt. Indeed, indeed. The yogurt culture. Um, that That is our faction. I want to play it, but I don't really, I don't know if I have time. That's just what it comes down to. I don't want to stream it, really. Um, I don't think Poe is going to be a good game for me to stream. Um, I don't think there's anyone wants to watch that more or less. Uh, and I, I don't know what I would say the whole time. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I'll have time, but I really want to play the new Poe League. It looks really fun and they buffed Blade Vortex. I play like only Blade Vortex. It's my favorite, it's my favorite skill by like a huge mile. Um, and they buffed it and I, you know, I was going to put this away, but we'll just, we'll just keep it. We'll just run around with it. Why not? I can, I can take a captain off something that I don't really want captained and put it on this. Hmm. Actually, I think this would be great. The The point defense wouldn't do anything, but the missiles doing like better is great. Um, ammo capacity won't won't matter, but the missiles doing better will be all right. The point defense is all right. The ballistics mastery, though, will go really hard. And then um, mid you taking less damage will be really good, you know? And then the shield's better. So I'm, I'm okay with this. Really, though, I just, I'm here for this. Just increasing the, the weapon range. Which means maybe we could go for like this this pilot or something instead so that it has a double weapon range i feel like 
Doesn't it have the other one? No, it doesn't. All right, well, we'll just live with this. We'll live with this. This is fine. And then let's build this this ship out. I don't know what I want to put on it. I, I think maybe I want like uh like like interceptors, like more defensive ones. Any any monkus to your captain type I could be in? Um This might be the most Monka steer. Maybe this. No, this is a long range ship. Honestly, this. Hey, Kung Fu, if you want to be a captain and you want to be very Monka steer, then I, I can make you Oba. He's aggressive and he pilots a small ship. Um, I'm happy to make this Kung Fu. Capitalize? There we go, there we go. Uh, and again, if anyone if anyone in chat wants to be a ship or uh, an officer, let me know. I'm happy to name it after you. I would I would be totally down for that. Uh, repair the ships. Are we are we all repaired? Did I did I do all that? All the D mods are gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's just one here. Sure. It, technically, it's a waste of money. Like it's it's too much money. But that's fine. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You should you should do fine. And you're piloting a cool ship. Oh no, that's not you. You're piloting this ship. It's a cool ship though. Still. This is still a cool ship. Oh, and you know what? I could put that new weapon on here. This thing. This thing goes ham. I mean, we technically haven't used it yet, but I'm sure it will. Um, and what's the range? It's like decent. Yeah, 600. I'm, I'm down for that. I like my ship. Yeah, I, I think I think it fits well. I think it fits well. It's it's very cool. It, it's, it's a nice ship. I might take these ion pulsers off, though. I think I want to change those out for something else. I think that's that's like part of the problem. Ooh, we could put this thing on. And honestly, it does um an anti-armor. I think I'm okay because like these break the shields down really well. And this thing is um and this is a general weapon. We could put this instead if we really wanted. But this you get the ammo back if you hit uh, armor or hull. So so this won't um like we can fire this a lot. And what's the the flux per shot? It's a lot of flux per shot, actually. Maybe we can make it work. Maybe maybe we can't make it work. Maybe we'll put something else on. Um, like this thing, this thing, and then this thing as well. The straw blicker, straw blick. Yeah. Um, I gotta bring this down a little bit. Straw blick. There we go. So this is general, so it'll help with the shields. Um, always reloads entire clip. Requires expanded magazines to reach sustained DPS. Normal sustained DPS is two hundred. Okay. Hmm, that's cool. What's the range? 600? 600? Hmm. I don't, I don't want to... I'll keep this for something that I'm going to put expanded mags on, I guess. So I'll just I'll just go for something basic. Where's, where's the pulse laser? Yeah, that's okay. So this should be better. This ship should function better now, I think. Um, especially with the S mods, it'll be better, but... Should be Should be good. Should be good. Okay, did we do everything else I wanted to do here? I think so. I think we're good to go. Repair. Do I have stuff in my inventory? Yeah, like a little or whatever, but not really. Storage. Put that away. Confirm. Okay, can I leave? Do we? Is it? Are we safe? Thirty-two days. Yeah, we got. We got. Yeah, we're we're safe. We're safe. We got plenty of time to make it there and back. Ammo return one sounded nice when you mentioned you. We hit shields fast. It does seem good. The only problem is the flux. I don't think the ship can handle it. You didn't build the... You're right. I literally forgot to do that seawall. Um, I, I felt like there was something else to do. I was really like... I was like, ah, oh, I'm not done here, but I did. Um, or, I mean, I was like, I was like, I'm not done, but I don't know what I needed to do. So I just left, but that was that. But we're not fighting right now, so it'll be okay. We are down to three mil. We just had like seven mil and we're down to three. That's all right. Three mil is still pretty good. Um, but I didn't necessarily need the battle cruiser for this, but I don't know. I, I, I wanted to make it right then. I just forgot. Good, better flux etiquette. How it works? No, you've already. I've already given you all the flux you can. Um, so you have a, a each ship has a base flux capacity and a base amount of flux dissipation. Um, and the flux dissipation is like how you rem like you you vent your flux like when you when it gets built up or whatever. Um. So this is completely capped, and we're barely beating the weapon flux right now. And then the capacity is like the pool. So if you were if you were a paragon, you might you would be happy to do it because like that's you have way more dissipation and capacity. But as as a little falcon, you just can't handle it. Um, dissipating flux and and making or increasing the the maximum like 
uh, flux capacity is really important, but generally speaking, I will have that capped already, so I can't improve it farther. PL Fleet, 14 days to arrive. PL Fleet, 14 days to arrive. Oh, you're totally right. Didn't this just have, like, a month? What happened? I thought we had, like, a month. We should be fine. We should be fine. Um, it, it, I, we were likely gonna be alright even without the Persian, or the, whoa, a Paragon? Oh, it's about my Paragon! It's, it's about my Paragon, they're, they're talking about my, my Paragon that died! That's so sick! Realize the story is an unflattering satire about a starship you own, the TTS uh, Baron, favoring drama over veracity. The storyteller covers the entire breadth of the ship's service under your command. Um, that's so cool! Much of the story involves a battle against the Legio Infernalis, in which it carved a swath of destruction through the enemy. I remember that! I was there for that! Um. That's really cool. I thought I was gonna get a ship, but that's about my ship, and we got a story point for it. Um. That's, that was great. That was, that was lovely. Take your planet killer. Get out of here. Nick Ram just turn it over. I don't, I don't care what you do with it. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. And you know what, honestly? Ludic Path, very, very high potential. I'm down for that. Here you go, Scavenger Friends from Edible Matter. Great on time. All right, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you, Kung Fu. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for being here. I don't, I don't know if I gave Kung Fu a shout out. I don't believe I did. Let me give Kung Fu a shout out. Um, if you were at all interested in um, Stone Shard, please check out Kung Fu's channel. He plays a lot of Stone Shard. Very good dude. Friend of the channel. Long time friend of the channel. Please, please do uh, give him a follow. Check out the channel. It's easily, easily worth your time. Defense con. Defense has arrived. Okay, we're good. Hey, Tim. How are you doing, Tim the Turtle? Welcome on in. Shalom to you as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope all is well for you today, Tim. Um, are they here yet? Invasion in system? Yeah, they're they're in system. All right, all right. Um, or is this them right here? They're not actually in system yet? Yeah, they weren't in system yet. They were just, like, right next to it. Um... I mean, they, they have these two big capitals, but that's, like, kind of it. Are you are you going to turn around? Moving to defend Khan? Where are they attacking, though? Old James. Wait, wait, you're the Tritac fleet. You're not you're not my fleet, so wait. Let me, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I thought we needed to go that way for some fighting, but we need to go this way for the fighting. Um, and we don't have any allies here, really. But we can defend the station. We can defend the station. Is it? It's in. Oh, it's engaged in battle. No, we should have done this earlier. Then join the battle. Um. All right. We, we, there's me. There's me at least. We should be okay. How how is it looking? Deploy all. Um. You won't get deployed. Instead, we can deploy like you. Sure. Our monitor. Monitor will go hard. We could even deploy one more monitor. Sure. Um. So they're 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 up on the station, but it, it's not like dead yet. Flagship not currently deployed. What ship do I pilot, chat? Oh, this thing, which we're, we didn't ever make. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just not pilot for this fight, then. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just watch. Got off work hour and a half early, so my niece for your second birthday. Not chill accent, so very good. Thanks to you. I'm doing great. I don't know if I'm doing that good. Off work an hour and a half early and family time? You're probably pogging out of control. Um, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. I am, I am doing quite well. All right, so... We're losing, we're losing some ships and stuff, but so are they. It's all good. It's all good. Our ships will, will come here eventually. The problem is that our ships aren't here yet. When our ships get here, we'll start putting in work. And again, once we kill these two capitals, their, their fleet is, like, way weaker. So the fact that this one's suffering so much already is good stuff. Where are we at? Where are we at? I kind of want to see how the, the, the AI pilots this thing. All right, I mean, they're, they're all dying. I just want to see if it uses the weapon system, like, constantly. Because I want it to. I really want it to. What are you doing over here? It's Kung Fu going on a solo mission to take out this capital. He's like, the capital's almost dead. I've got I've to finish it off. Kung Fu, brother, you can't do this, man. You can't do this. It's a capital. Get out of here. What are you doing? At least the debris is kind of tanking. The debris is helping a little bit with the tanking. Pull back, pull back, Kung Fu. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you pull back. Get out of here. I'm gonna command you to pull back. Um, how's the station looking? It's fine. Station's fine. Station's all good. 
We're suffering a little bit of threat on like our, our little star point here, but that's like no problem at all. Strike went down. I tried. I tried. I'm sorry, Kung Fu. I'm sorry. I tried. I promise I tried to keep you alive. You went on a, a very aggressive mission. All right, let's see if we're, we're getting any shots off with this bad boy. It's just sitting at missile range. It's not even firing its guns. I mean, I don't want it to do that. I want it to go in farther, but I don't know if I can like make it go in farther. Uh, maybe I need to give it like an aggressive captain. I don't, I don't want it to have an aggressive captain though. That seems like a really bad idea. It seems like a great way for it to die. An attempt was made, yeah. And I mean, at least it's not dying, but like, I, it's like 45 deployment points or something for, for, for just these missiles. Like that's not worth it. Uh, oh, look, a gargoyle class ship. What? Gargoyle became a ship. They were a person not that long ago. They had so many cyber mods, they turned into a spaceship jet. I mean, it's firing technically. It's shooting something. Maybe, maybe it was just struggling to get in range. Maybe it wanted to be in range this whole time. My brilliant got disabled. Dang it! Whatever. That happens all the time. It's not shocking, but I'm not happy with that. It's, it's. I'm not surprised, but it, I'm not stoked. I'm still sad. All right. I, th I think we need to kill just these ships, and then they'll they'll retreat. Oh, those are the only two ships remaining. So yeah, once we kill these ships, they will they will definitely retreat. They will retreat to the afterlife. Come on, it's not that bad. First mod to BP Gamma Core and Tack Lance and some more crap. Yeah, it's like it's not it's not bad at all. Like it's 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 inconsistent, and as you as you get more and more stuff out of it, the returns will be worse and worse. But it's not bad, dude. Like it's And again, when it when you're done, you can just just let it go. Um and I'll I'll join the pursuit. But when you're done, you can just like turn it off and, and then build something else. It's totally, totally fine. Only one, only one D mod. That's not bad. And I, if this wasn't a story point, or if I had more story points, I might consider that. But not gonna right now. Take my stuff, some supplies, and all that. Station, repair my ships. And we are at zero. Yeah, zero with negative twenty-four. That's good stuff. That is really good stuff. I will search through the ground. I don't want the tanker. But we should get a lot of fuel. Yeah. yeah. I res, if we did not have if we did not have high res sensors right now, that would be a problem. All right, so I don't know where the rest of the uh, the dudes are. Ah, I see them. I see them. Yeah, they just they turned the the blinker. They they turned the the the, the sensors into theirs. So I found them. Wait, what? Ah, there was a ceasefire. They ended. They ended the thing. They ended the uh, the attack. This 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 dude didn't even attack me. The ceasefire was called after the first fleet attack. Um, that's cool. Uh, that was that. That must have been a very very tense situation, chat. They had they had an army at my doorstep when that ceasefire was signed. That must have been a very very tense moment. All right, we we handled it though. It wasn't even that tough. But again, that's because they, they quit midway through. So maybe if they didn't quit, it would have been tougher. But they quit, so it was pretty easy. That was pretty solid. We have, like, literally almost 2,000 of these. We need to stop carrying these. Like, we need to start just getting rid of them. They're, like, selling them off. We don't, we don't need that many. And I don't need that many supplies either. 2,000 supplies. Fill up on fuel. And let's build this ship out. So, yeah, let's, let's put, like... Let's put, like, maybe these things. What do you do? De facto bomber? Hmm. I think I want something like this. Blaster with some serious firepower. I think I want something like that. And maybe these. These are super interceptors, right? Precision strikes, frigates, and fighter crafts. And you equipped to overcome. Yeah. Why, why do I have 14? Did I buy these or something? Um... Seems okay. Seems okay. Could put this psychopathic thing in there, but I don't think I want to. Even even some Sarissas? What do they do? Lido cans are on a comic and make large enemy ships twice. Yeah. The canister, flak, and then auto cannons? I wouldn't mind having Sarissas and just have them on support. 
But we we already have a backside. We're like we're broadsiding, so like we don't. I, I guess actually I do want to go offensive. Um, like maybe even sicko mode and go for for tridents. That's a lot of like points put into the tridents, but I, I think it's all right. Well, this is high res sensors and ECCM package. That's good stuff, chat. Um, I didn't know that. We'll put something because I'm gonna broadside this side. We're gonna attack here. See, it seems like that's intentional. That the, the this left side is the the attack side. So we'll put, um, of course, missiles that can, can track on the back here. We will put on our trackable missiles back here. You know what? I think this is going to be okay. Witness me, indeed, indeed. Um, normally, I wouldn't put this on like a big ship like this, but honestly, this is like probably really good point defense. I think that's not bad. And then um, this has a really, really good arc. I'm going to put point defense here for sure. the arc here. I think the arc here is better. I think that's fine for point defense, those three. Maybe something at the tip here. This is this is really a really good arc as well. We should have something there. That's a lot of point defense. We that should that should be enough on the point defense. And then I mean Project Cashmere. I was digging it. I was digging it when we were using it on our other ship. Um Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's 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 give it a whirl, if nothing else. And is it just smalls? Yeah, it's just the missiles and then smalls. All right. Um, and then for my medium missiles up here, I still want them to be uh like targeted. Anti armor. What do these do? These do like energy, so they'll be able to pop a shield pretty well. Oh, I'll go for the 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 these things, the breachers. It's not the greatest set of missiles ever, but I'm down for that. Um, and then how many does this have? Just 10, right? Yeah. Hmm, I think I'm gonna leave this on auto fire still. Um, I'm gonna go for, for uh, expanded racks. For my expanded racks, there we go. But I think I'm just gonna leave these on auto fire. It's that's not many, many uh, missiles in there or whatever. Like we'll run out eventually. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe we could have, no, I don't want these auto firing. I wanna control these. And I'm not gonna control that many groups, so. Um, I did not mean to run a simulation. We're, we're nowhere near ready for that. Smalls here. Let's go. We're going ITU, of course. We don't have that many points left, honestly. I might just leave these smalls open. Maybe something cheaper here. The Merv is really expensive. Um, squalls are a lot cheaper. This is even cheaper. Could go for the Pillum. It's real cheap. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of crunched for, for ordinance here. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, it's like we we I will build in I guess to make this thing really work, but until we build in, I think I'm gonna struggle with it. The shields I they they shouldn't be front facing, right? Are they front facing? Nah, so we'll we'll make them 360. Stabilize shields, that's fine. 125 for for 15. I actually don't know if that's worth it. I mean, let me put 15 points in here. What are we at? 1564. And it's like, it's it's barely not worth it. We might just leave these empty or something. Yeah, we could put these in there, but it's it's really, it's my... It's my ordinance points. Why does this ship have no ordinance points, Jet? Where are my ordinance points? We could put mining lasers. They're not awesome, but there's something. It's a little bit of forward face, or like, you know, broadside facing point defense. Um, that's not really what I want, though. Maybe we need to just not do Project Cashmere's. I don't. Well, let's let's just check. Let's just do this for now. Let's go like this. Weapon groups. Uh, the Pillum can just auto fire. Live your life. Project Cashmere's on one. Breaches on two. Players auto firing. First PD. Alternating. Now link those up. Link those up. Let's run a simulation. Let's see how the ship functions. Um. And again, I've never piloted a um. A, a, uh, a battle, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, how do you, how do you even broadside? Do I need to hold shift? Mmm, that's gonna be weird, man. That's gonna be weird. Learning to, like, hold shift or whatever. No, I did not mean to lower my shields. 
this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I overloaded myself with those things? Wait, what is the flux generation on these? Oh, it's 3,600 per shot. Okay, these things just don't work on this ship. That's what I've learned. That is, like, way too much. Hmm. Giga cannons? I don't think Giga cannons are the way, though. Maybe? Maybe a Titanomachy? Maybe some beams? Additional arcing EMP damage. How, how do these how do these function in terms of their their cost or whatever? They're really low weapon flux. Wow, wow, they're very very low. Yeah, they they're like just a couple hundred each. I didn't realize that. And you're a beam, right? No, you deal fragmentation damage. I forgot. This this weapon is weird. I definitely don't want two of them. One one's probably all right, but I don't want two. What what's your range? Eight hundred. We could go like just like the the um, the Paragon and go a death a death gaze assault laser. High intensity laser is not the worst. This is like anti armor, um, and this is I, it calls it general, but I'm like I don't know, man. Fragmentation damage and then EMP. I don't know what it's meant to do, but we need something to break shields down if we're gonna go for this. We could change these out to be shield-breaking missiles. Mm, I don't think I want that there. I think I've discovered I don't want that there. This is, like, really EMP-focused, but maybe? Maybe? And then let's go... It's like I can bring this down now by, like, a lot. We still, we're way good on that. Um, so I could go for the, uh, these, these beams that I didn't want to do before. And I don't know. Uh, we don't have any points left. So this might be better. This might be better. Let's, let's give it a try. Um, run simulation. Nope, 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 nope. Weapon groups actually, my bad. Hold up. Weapon groups first. Weapon groups first. Uh, these missiles on one. Players on two. Why are all of these like these? These should auto-fire. Pepe Cannon and the Titan, the Mackie can auto-fire. So yeah, the only thing I'm controlling in this case would be these. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe I'll control the Pepe Cannon. It's not that much flux, but I, this thing is just going to fire constantly. That's fine, of course. So we'll, we'll control this. Let's see. Let's see. Run simulation. Let's take this on again. Okay, yeah. Holding, sh learning to hold shift for this is going to be weird, but we'll get used to it. Why don't I just fire off those missiles? There's no way we're close enough. I guess we are, but I wouldn't have expected it. Turn and fire. Wait, not my breaches. I want to fire the Peppa Cannon. All right. We didn't beat this ship, but it cost a lot more than us. I don't think I like the Peppa Cannon. I don't, I can't find a role for it. I can't figure out what I want to do with it, so I don't think I want it. Instead, I think I'm just going to go for the Death Gazer. Where is it? There we go. And if we're going for the Death Gazer, I would like, um, we don't need expanded missile racks, honestly. This doesn't have ammo, and these have 50. That's good. I want, um, uh, advanced optics. And then we can crank this up. We could give us some flux or whatever. Honestly, if our dissipation is really good without vents... I almost never go capacitors over vents, but maybe this is the time for it. Because we're barely generating any flux. Um, and we, and you know what? Let's bring these down. Maybe maybe we could put on an attack laser or two. Nah, I'm just, I'm just going to try this out. Let's try this out. Does anyone have any, like, opinions on the uh, the ship? Because I'm like, I don't know how to make it work. So if right now, I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I don't know if this is, like, a good build at all. Doesn't seem the worst, but I don't know if it's any good. Bring our shields up. And every everything auto fires, so. Actually, everything auto firing would help a lot with um with maintaining um like broadside like this. How are you doing on flux? Way, way better than me. That's alright. 
not awesome, but it's not exactly like damning. Just trying to juke out of the way of that. That sucks. That 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 sucks pretty bad. Okay, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I just don't think I can kill this ship ever. Let's let's go up against something more and more akin to my like my size. What does it cost to deploy this bad boy? Forty-five. Let's run a simulation against something that's like forty-five in cost. Because this is literally sixty. It's like the biggest ship ever. Um, King Slayer, I do not think we could take on. I just don't think we're fit for it. You know what? Let's let's take on this with something else. There. That's 47 versus 45. We should be all right. We should be all right. Bring my shields up. Go to my second monitor real quick. We are back. Okay, okay. I'm gonna target this ship if I can. I mean, we're, we're getting the job done, man. We are getting the job done. I think maybe one issue I was having before was I was not using my mobility to my advantage. Okay, I think I think I need to stay like outside of their range like, the whole time, pretty much. Yeah, I think, I think I'm doing better this time. I'd say, like, for sure I'm doing better this time, even. Okay, okay. Because that's... Oh, my bad. I didn't realize that was there. Sorry about that. I hit, like, Shift-R at some point. That is from, um... Sorry, everyone. That is from... That's Elden Ring. I have a death counter for Elden Ring. Um, that is the amount of times I've died to the boss we're currently on. Thank you, thank you for that. I did not realize that was there. Thank you for letting me know that was there. Yeah, it was. I, it's a misclick. I don't even know how I did that because it's Shift plus R to make that thing show up. I don't know what I was trying to click where I ended up clicking Shift plus R. Which which way is away? It's this way. This is how I get farther away from here. I fire my missiles. Did he shoot all of my missiles? Did my own stuff break my missiles? What happened to my missiles? What's going on with my missiles? They're working this time. I don't know what happened last time. Our, our fighters did not do anything. Our fighters were on regroup this whole time. No. That's a problem. That's a problem and a half. They they definitely would have been helping. That would have that would have made a difference. They've literally been doing nothing this whole time. Okay, this is a good fight. You use your fighters too. Yeah, I did not realize that until the end there. That was my bad. That they're they're 50 50 of my 280 ordnance. It's huge. That is not a small chunk of what I have available. Um Join your officers for a drink. Wait, wait, wait. Ship's Captain Juicy Form Executive Officers made a name for themselves publishing commentary. They were able to learn something aboard the new T T7000 Light here. The former uh, XO explains that they would remain in your fleet for eight months to make sure that apply with any information for security protocols you apply. Consider c convince them to chronicle a different destroyer for half the duration. What does this do? Oh, the ship's going to become faster? Oh, I wish we picked a different ship then. Or become more famous faster. Um, I, I, I wish we picked a different one. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.